Welcome everybody to the Music City Surrey Showcase where we highlight the amazing artists that live, work and play in the city of Surrey. And thank you to the city of Surrey and Creative BC for enabling us to do this. And today in the Fusion Presents studio, we have the amazing artist, Arjel. Hi. How are you? <laughs> Good. How are you? Thank you so much. I'm great. It's uh, such a wonderful pleasure to have you and to meet you. Um, <laughs> we This is the first time we meet, actually, and we found you from the Music City uh, directory oh, on yes. the city of Surrey. Yes. So uh, thank you to the city of Surrey for actually enabling that because here we are together. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And um, so... The artist uh, who we had prior, Aslam, took a look at you as you walked in. He's like, wait a minute, you're that guy. <laughs> were you on Searchlight? <laughs> and then it proceeded to, you were top 10 Searchlight. So you were the top 10 CBC artists across Canada on Searchlight. Please tell me about that experience. Yeah, um, I still can't believe that happened. Um, <clears throat> when that when that happened in 2021, I just released my first single. It doesn't matter. Um, and then I was also taking this this mentorship program with Art House from Toronto online because you know that it was still the pandemic. Yeah. Um, and they told us to join competitions, join things that will um, further your music career. Cool. And so that's why I found out Searchlight and. I don't know. It just it just so happened that I was in top 100 for the first um, few rounds. Mm -hmm. And then I woke up that morning. Well, I was actually filming a music video back at that time mm -hmm. for my second single. Okay. And then when I, re I, I, my friend messaged me to check the article and I was like, okay, cool. I guess I'm probably not going to be in it because mm -hmm. um, I'm still new and I'm just starting. Um, but when I saw my name, it was, it felt surreal. You know, so hold on a second. So, <laughs> so you're just starting off. So you started off as a original uh, artist during the pandemic, and you decided to take this artist development program. And they said for you to go and be part of competitions. So you joined one of the most elaborate, <laughs> extensive <laughs> national CBC Searchlight, which has thousands of artists and this is the first time you've done it yeah yeah i i and didn't even know how big it was i was just you know what this is actually the year for me to push my music out there right. um during the pandemic too it was kind of like that life and death situation where right. like if you're not going to do it now when are you going to do it you know Amazing. and a lot of people had that epiphany right yes. um and so for me I was working with a producer from the Philippines and I was recording this and just in my in my room, mm. kind of have my own setup right. and recording vocals for for him. Mm -hmm. um, and then when I released It Doesn't Matter, it was just for family and friends because um, they knew that I've been writing songs for a long time, but mm. I haven't really had the confidence to put that put it out there. May I ask what does what doesn't matter? What's so, the song about? Yeah, so the, it doesn't matter is all about um uh, this campaign called Stop Asian Hate During the Pandemic. Mm. And it was, I'm, I'm, I'm an advocate of anti-racism work and representation. Um, and so I kind of created this song, It Doesn't Matter, um, with a disco feel, funky feel mm. to it because I'm obsessed with um, disco music. Right. Um, but, the, but the message of the song talks about you know the jokes that they that they give out to uh, the IBPOC community, and mm -hmm. that they didn't really know that it's actually hurting us. Mm -hmm. And so it doesn't matter. Is about this empowering the IBPOC community and how whatever they tell us, you know, we will still be able to thrive in whichever community we 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 are a part of. Amazing. Um, that we will also going to be achieve our goals with with all of these obstacles that racism has given us or discrimination has given us. And right. so. Um, at that time, I was um, advising a, uh, an anti-racism club for a university, mm -hmm. and I was just so hyped up with this work that we're doing that Amazing. I created and write it, wrote the song. Wonderful. Um, so yeah. what, a, what an incredible, inspiring place that you're like, I, I, I believe this, and I need to 
you know, put this out into the world and, you know, leave a legacy of yeah. this message through song. I mean, yeah. that's fantastic. And, and my first single. <laughs> and, your, and your first <laughs> single. My first single. And is that the single that you put forth with Searchlight? Yes. So Searchlight? That, was, yeah. that was the first single that I that I submitted for Searchlight. I thought it was just, you know, if, if I make it to top 1,000, it will be... Worth the, it. The, yeah, it will be amazing. Right. Um, but also, there are no expectations with it whatsoever because, again, I was just releasing my song for my family and friends to hear and for them to feel empowered with amazing. this song. You know? Um, and then to get into Searchlight and to be recognized mm. um, was honestly a, a platform for me to continue working with my music and with my... Um, my, my advocacy when it comes to social justice for IB Paw community. Let's let's talk about that. So yeah. you, you mentioned that um, you're part of uh, Arts Umbrella. Yes. And yes. Uh, you focus on uh, underrepresented groups. Yeah. Tell um, me more about that. Yes. Uh, when I got the job, I was actually fortunate to be hired two weeks before I graduate. And for, you know, a lot of university graduate students out there, you know, mm. when you're about to graduate, there's that fear of unknown and fear mm. of not getting employed. <laughs> mm. um, but I, I, I always love to think that it's perfect timing mm -hmm. because the job focuses on community programs in Surrey. And Wonderful. we yeah. provide programs for uh, the Surrey School District and for and we invite children to come to Arts and Braille Surrey Center and they, they are able to access uh, theater classes and Excellent. visual arts classes. Um, and thanks to our sponsors who have been, you know, giving us an opportunity, the financial resources for us to continue with this program wow. honestly has been really um Amazing working for them. Wonderful. I mean, uh, it, it seems like this is something that kind of like is a dream job <laughs> while you are pursuing your own artistry yeah. that, you know, has an underlying message that is synergistic with this, uh, you know, with your employment. Yeah. Tell me, right two weeks before you graduated, graduated from what? Where did you study? What did you study? Yeah, I studied, um, well, I studied general studies okay. <laughs> diploma. I finished a general studies diploma from Kwantlen Polytech University, okay. um, Surrey campus. I yeah. really miss it. Yeah. Shout out to KPU. <laughs> Shout out to KPU. <laughs> yeah. um, and then I went to Kaplan University to take musical theater program. Excellent. Um, and then that bridged into the Bachelor of Performing Arts at Kaplan University as well, mm -hmm. which is honestly, whenever I say it, it's perfectly um, captures what my skill set right now. And mm. I'm so grateful that I was able to take that program. Wonderful. I mean, I, I, of course, CAP is known for their jazz program as well. I mean, so many incredible musicians yeah. and artists go to CAP. Shout out to CAP. <laughs> uh, so, um, so that's amazing. So you started off with KPU, went uh, to, uh, eventually migrated over to CAP, graduated with a bachelor's at CAP. Yeah. In musical theater, mm -hmm. yes, wonderful. And then you're like, okay, this is what I'm doing. I am a, I'm a, I'm a singer. I'm a musician. I'm an actor, and I also care about certain things. And I want Absolutely. to go. And what's available? And it just serendip serendipitously happened that Arts Umbrella had a position open for you. It all connected, right? Like it's. I was just a person, a vessel that is an advocate of storytelling, and that we always need to tell our stories and. I get to inspire young immigrants like me, young Filipino Canadians out there and other youth to pursue their dreams through my music and my theatrical performances. Excellent, yeah. And so with my, my career, with my employment right now, mm -hmm. it, honest, and I, it honestly just makes sense. And sometimes whenever I work, I have these like random times where I'm like, I'm working my dream job Wonderful. and I can also pursue my career in music and in theater. And it's just, honestly, the Argel five years ago would not really probably imagine this, you know, because Excellent. I, uh, as an immigrant, I was pressured not by my parents, but the community and by the, the people who have been here before to mm -hmm. be on jobs that are more secure, you know, in, yeah. in, in the medical field and in the business field. And there's right. no hate in that, but Absolutely. my passion was always been in the performing arts. Right. I like performing because I like inspiring and uplifting people. Mm -hmm. And so to be in this moment this year, honestly, is the moment that um, we celebrated our 10-year anniversary since moving here to Canada. Mm -hmm. um, and I had my convocation last June, and I finished as a valedictorian, and I was able to invite wow. my parents. Um, so, honest hold on. <laughs> you, you graduated as the valedictorian of your class? Of my university, of yes. Of your university? Yeah, of the faculty, I guess. <laughs> That's incredible. Yeah. <laughs> 
Wow. So valedictorian of uh, uh, Cap in musical theater, Searchlight Top (laughs) Ten, working an incredible job at Arts Umbrella, and you just released music. I did, yes. Tell me about that. And so I was able to release my first ever EP this year, um, and it's called Rain. And this um, rain, like rain, R-E-I-G-N, but it's also Mm. kind of like a double entendre with my love with rain because Mm. of Vancouver and how the weather is is here. But um, this EP is very monumental for me because it pretty much captures my journey as an immigrant Mm. and Mm. how my family and I strive to get where we're at. You know, this is all hard work. And... I'm so happy and so proud about what my family has done. Mm. They have always given me an opportunity to discover my passion and to hone my, my skills. Yeah, we were talking about this right before that yeah. uh, you're Filipino. Yes. And I was yes. telling you, uh, yesterday we did a uh, an event at the uh, Museum of Surrey mm-hmm. and it was the Filipino exhibition. And <laughs> it's just, I love the Filipino community. They're so full of love and of the most talented people I've ever seen. I mean, everybody sings and they all sound great. So that's that's really cool that uh, obviously your family is so supportive of, you know, the creative world. And, yeah, and yeah. Your, and your passion. They've always been honestly supportive from like day one. When I told them, it was also f- uh, full of um, fear that when, when I told them that I want to pursue a, mu- a career in music, um, they just gave me this amazing positive uh feedback and positive response Mm. that until now, whenever I perform all over Metro Vancouver, um, I recently perform at Surrey Fusion Festival and then in Coquitlam, I perform at BC Dumpling Festival. They're all there. So can Um, you, can you, can you tell me what was the advice or what was, what was those words of encouragement from your parents? That to to continue on, (laughs) to pursue what I love, Mm. that to keep going mm. with this with with the performing arts and with my passion because that will make me happy oh. and inspired we are we are huge advocates of yeah. that at fusion presents we have a uh, we have a workshop called think of 10 things where yeah. essentially you um you define your passions yeah. and you know your top 3 passions are <laughs> the things that you should be doing in mm-hmm. life that's it yeah that's, and you know. and honestly that's something that i want to um, share with the youth because when I was when I was young, I I moved here in um, 2012 when I was in grade 11, mm. and so there's a lot of uncertainties, right? Mm. There's a fear of the unknown, and it's not a perfect journey, mm-hmm. the way we dreamed it, but um, it's all worth it. Yeah, it's really all worth it, and Amazing. I can't stop telling you how happy I am where I'm at mm. and how excited I am for my future. I and for I, my I feel the I feel your gratitude as well and your humility, which is yeah. really wonderful and. So clearly your parents love your voice and love your ability because, <laughs> yeah. I mean, they they can see it. You know, most parents, uh, mine included, <laughs> you know, uh, in the beginning for, for me, um, you know, when I told my parents that I was going to pursue it, uh, you know, it was like, uh, it's <laughs> uncertain. <laughs> uncertain. Luckily, I, you know, I, I went to school and I had, uh, you know, the academics behind me that the I support. could go and work. Yeah. But my parents were like, you know, if you believe it and you want it, you have the talent. So I love that your parents also are like that. And, you know, sharing that with youth and, you know, I'm completely convinced <laughs> you must yeah. do what you love. Yes. There's yes. no other choice. I mean, uh, yeah, my parents have always been supportive, but there's also that worry, right? And so that worry w- was removed when mm. I worked hard yeah. and they saw that. You they saw, saw yeah. the, the, the success that you got. Yes. And also the the time and the passion that I mm. have for this mm. for this artistry. And the happiness that comes yes. with it. Like, yes. That's they wonderful. saw all of that. And and they also have the same feeling with me. It's all worth it. It's all Excellent. worth it. <laughs> Excellent. So your, your EP is called uh, Rain. Yes. R-E-I-G-N. Yes. yes. To, to, to reign over your own passions, I presume, and, and yeah. to you know, go after what you want. Yes. Um, that's absolutely wonderful. How many songs are on the EP? There's four songs in, in the EP. Um, and Rain, the title song, you know, explores about um, self-empowerment and to reign your own life that no matter what other people say, um, it's all f- about what you do and it's mm. all about what you make mm. um, as as a human being. And rain kind of has these like elements of nature mm. um, and also 
some pop <laughs> inspiration because I'm I'm growing up. I've always listened to One Republic, to Adele, to Sam Smith, right. to Motown, and right. so this EP is full of those influences. But then also they talk about my story and mm-hmm. how I was able to get where I'm at. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the other song that I wrote is called Story We Tell, which is the first song ever that I wrote. Uh, that has Tagalog spoken word in it. Cool. Um, and it was produced by this amazing uh, producer from the Philippines. His name is Norman Peradilla. And okay. we, when we were talking about it, I wanted to incorporate a lot of Filipino-ness, Filipino-ness, for lack mm. of a better term, mm. in it. And we were like able native to f- instruments. And yes. So yeah. we were able to feature a folk instrument called Kulintang, which is a bell um, in whenever I'm doing the spoken word. And it was... Honestly, I'm so cool. proud of that record. So, yeah. so you're you're collaborating uh, with uh, this Filipino producer in the Philippines. Yes. So everything is remote. Yes, for that EP, it was. Um, wow. But then now that I I've already had some connections and stuff, I want to bring. Uh, my artistry locally mm. um, without also not cutting ties with my connections there. Um, I've always loved collaborating with mm. with artists. Mm-hmm. I think having two brains or more brains in one room, it will create some sort of a masterpiece that might inspire someone who's having a bad day or sure. um, things like that. But Story With Tell has honestly been... Um, not to say my favorite song, yeah. but um, it it captures pretty much my journey here. And Wonderful. it talks about how we need to tell our stories. That's so excellent. Yeah. So obviously you have a lot of uh, love and passion for your own culture as well. Yeah. And, uh, and inspiring youth within your culture. But at the same time, this is also something that can... Um, you know, go out to other uh, young immigrants. I'm an immigrant myself yeah. as well, you know, uh, and so I, I appreciate that because my mm-hmm. journey also was, you know, come to this land and what are you going to do? Yeah. Well, do what you love. Yes. You know, and forward. and loving the imperfectness of that yes. journey, you know, I think Story We Tell and my EP in general just talks about the journey is not perfect and it's not straight and it has, you know, ups and downs, mm-hmm. but if you are really dedicated to that path and mm-hmm. you really think that this is something that will make you happy and satisfied, yeah. it's, that's what it's a, I life of no, it's a life of no regret. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's so wonderful. Yes. Wow. It's really lovely speaking to you. <laughs> um, so what advice would you have? Uh, what would you give advice you give to somebody starting out? Two, honestly, three words to keep going. Mm. Um, you know, I've recently had obstacles with, with my journey and, now that I'm getting out of that obstacle, mm. I see that it's all worth it. Mm. And so if you're having a bad day or you're just having a, a bad timing when it comes to whichever passion you have chosen to pursue, mm. that's not the end of it. That's just right. um, something that you need to overcome so that you can be stronger and be more versatile right. so that when people, when you put it out there, you're ready for whichever, whatever people's reactions are, bad and good. Right. Um, I think there's a lot of people out there that are that are experiencing and struggling, especially we're experiencing these difficult times. Mm. But when it comes to music and when it comes to performing arts, this is something that can be a vessel or can be a way for us to inspire them. Wonderful. And so to just keep going. <laughs> you know, uh, honestly, uh, Argel, I love your intention. Yeah. You know, you have you have a pure intention. You have a, a, a love intention, and you want you want to make this world a better place, which yeah. is. Also our mission. That's which amazing. Is, which is wonderful. So, aligned. Stars aligned. <laughs> completely. Synergistic. Here we are. Um, so uh, where can people find you? Yeah. Um, I am available on Spotify, Apple Music, all digital streaming platforms. You can also follow me on my Instagram um, at argelmdr, A-R-G-E-L-M-D-R. You can also check my website, argelmdr.com. Um, also on Facebook. Uh, feel free to reach out. I would love to collaborate with people or to, you know, have conversations about my music. Um, and I can't wait to connect with you. <laughs> That's so awesome. And uh, you'll be performing a song for us. Yeah. Uh, come up. Which song will you be performing? I'll be performing. I'll be performing "Story We Tell," <laughs> Story, which has part of the Tagalog, Tagalog uh, yes. spoken word in it. That's wonderful. Yeah. Well, what a pleasure to have you here. And uh, thank you everybody for watching uh, this segment of the Music City Series Showcase featuring Argel. Please like and subscribe and uh, stick around for a wonderful performance. I'm sure.
To you it never happened, but I'm certain that it happened. The terrors of this place were taken out of pace. The colors of tomorrow will never see it fly again. Beside a sorrow, they washed it out of the bay. Mama said, come running to the borders of the sky. There we'll start over, it is time to aim high. Lies a perfect hideout, might not see what it's about All I know it's perfect, a runway for us to fly High, high, high Every corner has its eyes on us Every breath I take, I pay a price This is why we tell a story, story Blinded by the things we can see, can see Every corner has its eyes on us And the room gets louder to you there is no difference, but I see all of the fences Bordering the maze where we chose to live The colors of tomorrow will never see it fly again Cause out of sorrow they took the arrow Kapag ako'y tumatako Naririnig ko ang bugso ng damdamin Pilit na inaamin sa sarili ko Ako'y nagkamalit ng iba ng ugali Kailan pipiliin itanggi ang sarili Tayo ay talis lubid ng mga istorya Ng kasisayan na punong-puno ng mga bala Piniling kalimutan ang iyong pinanggalingan Upang makibagay at maintindihan na gaalangan Noong lumipat ng bayan Yung tinalikuran ni kang nakasanayan Well it's definitely difficult to live in a place When everyone around you thinks you're out of the race yeah Every corner has its eyes on us Every breath I take, I pay a price This is why we tell our story, story Blinded by the things we can see can see every corner has its eyes on us and the room gets louder mama should come running to the borders of the sky there will start over it is time to aim high lies a perfect hideout might not see what it's about all I know it's perfect A runway for us to fly High 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 Every corner has its eyes on us Every breath I take I pay a price That's why we tell a story, story Blinded by the things we can see, can see Every corner has its eyes on us And the room gets louder Sa bawat pakabang, siya ba'y nakaabang Binansag ang pelas na silanganan ang tahanan Ang tangi kong hiling magsanan niya kong itakwil Pagkat di ko hinangad ang kanyang lupa ay lisanin Panyagaman ng mga salitang sinasambit Kapalit ang pagkakataong pangarap makamit I admit, I never gave myself a chance to pick But now telling my story through music is my new trick To you there is no difference To you there is no difference Ooh Never happened, but I'm certain that it happened